What's good, friends? I hope you're A-OK. -okay. It's spotlight time. I'm your host, Adrian F.E., A.K.A. O.K. Adrian. It's indie game time. We're going to take a look at Ori and the Will of the Wisp from Moon Studios. So check this out. You know, I gotta tell you, in a world of games that live in washed up color tones, you'll be hard pressed to find a game as beautiful as this, bet. But let's start from the top. You're Ori, Spirit Guardian, AKA cute glowing thing available in many marketable products. And if you haven't played the first Ori game, no worries, you should be okay. But for the ones who did and have keen eyes, you might recognize that owl that Ori rides in the beginning. Oh, and he's holding Kuro's feather, double all. After that, the usual happens, like in life. You explore a vast world looking for life answers, like us. You get chased and attacked by things bigger than you, sometimes like us. But that's okay, because you're not a buster. You're not CJ. So you have an arsenal of moves and movement choices, both old and new. For example, there's the scene where Ori's fighting the troll thing with a giant club, and Ori wall jumps into an aerial combo to avoid the club's hitbox on the ground. Smart. And near the end, that glowing mushroom baseball swing that comboed into that move Light Burst from the definitive edition of the first game, oh, it was dope, great reflexes. Or maybe Ori just plays with the Astros, I don't know. And the visuals, my god, it reminds me of a 4K Secret of Nim. I love these 2.5D like diorama type games. That water roll scene is a perfect example. So the front plane has broken bits of the wheel, the plane the you're on is being flooded, and the background plane is a different part of the structure turning separately. And the whole game is like that. I can't wait. You can avoid being a buster right now, so pick up your copy. Rated E for everyone. <laughs> 